Hello students, welcome to the knowledge session with Abhishek Anand, your educator on Unacademy, India's largest learning online platform. Quick introduction, I'm Abhishek Anand, did my graduation from SRCC and my MBA from IIM Bangalore. I worked for five years with the multinational financial institute before I took the plunge and joined the education industry. Ever since then, which is more than a decade now, I've been in this industry training thousands of students at top B schools. Uh, I thought, and this is basic suggestion of few of my students, that let me start a knowledge series on what makes, a, let's say, a good profile to a top B school or career-wise, what are the good things that you can do. So today's session is on what is a good CV or what is a good resume. Before I start that, uh, if you haven't explored an academy, you are missing out on something great. There are brilliant teachers, amazing content. So if you are not there on an academy's platform as yet, please explore that. Okay, today's agenda. Purpose of a CV, your strategy, packaging, because marketing makes a lot of difference. So packaging, and I'll show you an example of a profile or a CV before and after the packaging in the marketing world. And what are not to do's in a, when you are making a CV or presenting your CV. Okay, purpose of a CV. First of all, understand the people that when I'm looking at your CV, I'm not trying to reject someone. I'm actively looking to select candidates to call for my next round of selection process. So if I don't get selected, automatically I'm getting rejected. But the purpose is not to reject your CV, but to select. The moment you understand the fine difference between selection and uh, rejection, you would understand to get selected, you have to give that cues to the person who is looking at your CV. So you need to understand that when I'm looking at a CV, it gives me an idea about the candidate, as in how did the person use his or her time? What was important to the candidate? I also map attributes to the position. So let's say if I'm a fin, if I'm coming for a finance role, I might be looking for certain skill sets, which might be different from a marketing role. So I, uh, as a recruiter, my agenda is to attribute, uh, let's say map your attributes to the position. And uh, some companies even give uh, scores on the basis of CV. For a candidate, it is simple. Your CV is your sales pitch. So you need to understand what is a sales process. So sales if you were to do sales you need a good product or let's say create an aura around you that you're a good product and then if you're a good product you have to make a claim you have to back it with evidence and yes package it so that is the fundamental of it which is the first thing is try to work on yourself as a good product so what is a good product so for a good product there are i would consider there are four pillars now i have done a video on what is a good profile so you might like to visit that also in that i have discussed at length what is a good profile but the four pillars which should come across in your cv would be academic consistency internships then again formal versus informal brand versus work you might have different questions here i would do a separate video on internship what is a good internship how can you get a good internship and then projects undertaken, uh, position responsibility, and extracurricular activities. So project uh, undertaken, I would uh, club them under extracurricular activities and then position responsibility. So basically four pillars, ACADS, extracurriculars, position of responsibility, and internships. Uh, so when you highlight this point, you need to back it with evidence. So you are mentioning that I've just got, let's say, a good communication skill will not help on a CV. But if you mention that you won some, let's say, a competition, a debating competition, or let's say business conversions in, in Delhi University, I know that you would have good communication skills. So back it with evidence. So it's like saying strong analytical skills versus if you had a good SAT score. Now this SAT score is old now. The new version has, you cannot score 2100, but this is one case, right? Let's say in class 12, if you've cracked IM Indoor exam, IPM, five-year integrative program, and you chose not to go there, uh, that becomes a strong point. It tells me two things. A, you got strong analytical bent of mind because you cleared uh, I am indoor examination. Second, you would have cleared the interview process, again, which is very rigorous. So if I get that pointer in your CV, you know, that is telling me an attribute and you're backing it with an evidence. So try to get evidence for the claims that you're making. Internships, uh, again, when I'm saying claim, so uh, let's say you work in a family business, or your father's friend firm versus you intern with Rekid Bank Kaiser. So the more formal you have an internship, you know, the more validated your claim is. You know, because if you're going through a formal process, I know that they have a process in place. You would have got through the rigorous process and that validates your candidature. There must have been so many candidates that have applied for it. You were shortlisted, you were selected. 
plus there are certain uh, companies certain uh, in industry i know that they have very organized uh, internship program so if you are a part of that program then that definitely carries more weightage but let's say if you're not in a college where such companies come then some internship is better than no internship projects undertaken again project uh, as a semester requirement uh, versus something that you volunteer for where, wherein there was no compulsion on you so for example city coordinator power of ideas so i am this thing i this i think it is i am ahmedabad they they have this concept called power of ideas wherein wherein they have chapters in few cities so and they they encourage volunteers right so you may volunteer and can be a chapter head or volunteer of such a big brand like i am ahmedabad so that will definitely carry a big value on a cv and position of responsibility strong leadership qualities you just mentioned that you have strong leadership qualities versus you are the president or you are the chief coordinator of a placement cell so these validates so always try to back it with evidence whatever claim you are making on a cv extracurricular activities again so i would consider it into three parts a you might have organized the event second you might have uh, won the event third you just participated you did not win but you participated so all of them carry different weightages for me organizing and being the core part of it it, it shows position of responsibility leadership is uh, uh, after academic uh, let's say consistency leadership is one of the top most sought after trait and again when i say academics guys uh, it varies from uh, industry to industry so let's say for a management consultancy profile for a banking investment banking profile uh, grades are extremely important it may not be that important for let's say a sales job okay packaging before and after so you are a good product you've done a lot of things now how do you present it on your cv now most of the top colleges they have a format which is really nice but let's say tier 2 tier 3 colleges they don't they don't have a format so try to get a hang of a good uh, format so let's say this uh, if this was an actual cv uh, guys right so so first of all see it is not aligned here you have uh, four columns here you have two columns not very clean to the eyes now the same uh, cv was revised into this format look at this right so we did not change content that much we had a brainstorming session with a candidate we listed out more points but try to make it pleasing to the eye just like a good website is something which is easier to navigate similarly your cv should be very comfortable very very you know easy to the eyes so let's say now i know there are different blocks so education wise this is the block internship wise i know this is a block academic projects this is the block your position responsibility this is the box now after much of the brainstorming in this candidate case again there was lots of space left because during the college time the gentleman did not use much of his time productively but still this cv is much more better than the previous one so as i said identify those four blocks and try to present your information in those four blocks use high impact words right so for example awarded uh ideated elected see uh, i could just say i could just say president of let's say my college placement cell versus elected president from a batch of 500 students as placement uh, committee head right so now when you use word elected i know there was a democratic process people might have voted for it there might be different candidates who would have applied for it and people voted you as the pre president that means they showed faith in your leadership qualities so these are the high impact words try to use this in your cv right if you design a program mention design elected try to quantify your achievement right so if you do if you've done an internship that internship must have had an objective right uh, try to quantify that so let's say simple simple example if you, if you let's say even if you did some service so how many people did you sample how many people did you talk to so try to quantify what you've achieved if you can't quantify what you have done then i will not take you seriously right also as i said high impact words how will high impact word comes when you're looking at impact so just to give you an example eny uh, has a good internship program they recruit a lot of interns but they give very few lors letter of recommendations so your goal should be the moment you go for a uh, internship talk to your supervisor talk to your mentor and tell that person that i want to get a letter of recommendations after the end of this internship i want to really work hard tell me what am i supposed to do right and trust me there are so many people from eny who done internship but very few lors your cv would be a differentiator so be aware of such things because you know you have to create impact now 
not to do's not to do's on your uh, cv please get rid of objective right otherwise you come up with very obvious things i want to work in a growth oriented organization tell me which organization would not want growth i would like to work in a dynamic organization which organization will believe that we are not dynamic right i will not get impressed by this thing and uh, top companies do not expect this right so please get rid of the objectives get a professional mail id right most of us got our first mail id when we were young in schools you know we had different perspective of thinking we we wanted to come across as cool right and because of that we try to get some fancy email ids please if you have such an email id change it email id like ashish underscore zero zero seven i think i this was i think actually ashish underscore james bond at gmail.com right when you apply to a professional company and with such kind of a email id that shows that you're not serious then first impressions most of the times are the last impression also uh, the joke is that despite this if you get a get a job get an internship please do not work in such an organization one and a half pages cv no a person with let's say a po after a post graduation degree with a 10 years of experience even that gentleman or that lady is expected to have a one pager cv right at a college level uh, if you're giving me one and a half page cv two pages cv then that's completely waste waste of space waste of time so try to get your cv into a one page not one and a half page or cv uh always should be avoided if possible right because uh, it should be out of well, let's say when you don't have a choice which means you don't have content on other areas that i've highlighted then you could mention hobby right uh, but otherwise hobbies should be avoided don't use personal pronouns which is i was awarded as this i was elected as a person you, it's your cv it's but obvious that you know it's about you so you avoid a uh, personal pronouns and uh, avoid fancy font right so there are professional fonts arial right so you would do a search on this thing your college would have a format try uh, not try just avoid fancy font so this would it be and then come over gyan this what i have told you earlier also right think i think out of the box versus uh, lost ideated and if you've thought out of the box then it would impact in the result right so if you thought out of the box when you were your cultural uh, calcom secretary let's say you thought out of the box and that's it on your cv so if you would have thought out of your box it would have resulted in some positive uh, output so let's say did you increase the footfall did you increase the revenue this time were your sponsorship uh, collection was much high as compared to the earlier one did you start a new society in your college so these are quantifiable things so try to get this try to work towards this and that will reflect on your resume uh, so as i said these are knowledge sessions very short crisp videos i'll try to make and if you have any follow up question on this you can put it on the comment section i'll i'll respond to them i'll i'll write it to you on this thing my i'll i'll next time i'll in the subscription i'll put my telegram channel also so whatever uh, i videos i do i'll i'll put the link there if you have any suggestions if you want me to do uh, videos on some other topics which you think are relevant for you put them on the comment section i'll pick them up and i'll do a video on that there are certain videos that i plan to do so what what is a good profile for and i am i've already done this uh, i've done what is a good cv plan to do on a good internship what is good internship and there are other areas also which have lined up most uh, your uh, uh, feedback would be most valued so any topics if you want me to do i'll cover it so see you with my next uh, topic on this bye bye take care